Hi, and welcome to another episode of the Relationship Series. My name is Sam Spatero. And I am Gina Spatero. And today's topic is the biological clock. And this is something that I have a very direct connection with because um, I know when we started having kids, it wasn't so easy. And I know it's very apparent to most people uh, today, especially having children at a later age. So we're going to talk about uh, some of the factors that contribute to these issues and concerns and maybe things that you can do that you're uneven aware of and you're I'll let my sister aware of and I'll let my sister uh, start with this. Sure. Yeah. So it's understanding the window also. So for women, the ideal time for fertility is early 20s. Um, and yes, we can conceive into our late 20s and 30s and 40s. However, there are risks. There's more complications that may come with pregnancy, etc. And for men, obviously, um, just biologically, they can procreate in, later on in life uh, with less complications. Yes, the decrease of sperm production, however, they are more likely to produce um, reproductive um, aspects more so than women. Um, I think the whole dynamic, especially with um, fertility clinics, are on the rise because it is what it is. We are, women and men are getting married later or are cohabitating later on in life, which means that they're not, they're not having children at the ideal peak times. We're kind of stretching the limit, yeah. essentially, you know, we're, we're kind of playing God with, <laughs> with what we have been given with uh, science, which is a beautiful thing that we have. Uh, but people question, you know, why they're having such a hard time getting pregnant and it's just a lot of the time boils down to the biology of our reproductive organs but women especially because we know that part of our biological need to be fulfilled has a has a lifespan and what happens is they find the best suitable partner at that time to bear children with but later on they realize that they probably weren't the best partner for them so before you choose to have children, make sure you're choosing a partner that is complementary to your lifestyle, to the longevity of you know growing as a couple, um, etc. Because not only do you want to have one, two, or three children with this person, because it becomes a lifetime commitment. So be smart about who you choose first, um, and the pressure of your biological clock shouldn't just be an indicator of who you're going to pick. Make sure you vet properly for a partner, men and women alike. Yeah. And I just want to share a quick story. Uh, there was a gentleman, I heard the story. There was a gentleman who met some friends and they haven't seen in a while. He was with uh, a girl and he's like, oh, hey, um, are you married? Yeah, we're just going on our honeymoon. Oh, that's great. And one thing he noticed, she was a lot younger than him. Mm -hmm. And this wasn't his first marriage. And he goes, oh, hey, like, are you going to have kids? Nope, I told her. As long as we get married and you know, no kids. And while he was having this conversation with him, his wife was having the conversation with a girl and afterwards they met, they're like, wow, this is very unique, uh, a very unique dynamic. And he's like, well, what was she saying? She's like, oh, you know, we just got engaged and you know, we started engaging in conversation. I asked her some questions, you can have kids. He says, no, but give me a few years. So one key thing to make sure um, you're connected with the right person. And we always say this, whether it's shit testing or asking the right questions, sit down and have the appropriate conversations. Yeah. And I'd like to share my personal experience with this because I know a lot of you are struggling with this. And for men, the fertility ranges, I believe from 25 to 55, but let's forget about all the science behind it. Um, I believe my wife and I were pretty healthy and we were struggling and we tried many different things. And here's what worked for us. Uh, we met with uh, some naturopathic doctors and had discussed some of our issues and concerns and here's what they did for us. They gave us a holistic plan. So what we did is we changed our food, uh, we started meditating, doing yoga. Um, one other key thing um, uh, with Chinese medicine is the yin and the yang energy. Mm -hmm. um, most of us believe that if you do it like rabbits, that can be very impactful, but with Chinese medicine, it's actually the opposite. Uh, building up the yang energy is very crucial from a Chinese medicine perspective and having more impact and more power in delivery. 
So rather than doing it all the time, it went to once every two weeks or once a month. And we literally did everything they said because if there's one thing that we were always really connected to, that was having a family and children because I love kids. My wife is a teacher and she is so phenomenal and amazing with children. And it was really crushing and devastating to see people who really didn't even want to have kids having kids so easily. And here it was, we were ready, we're willing, and I believe we were going to be amazing parents and we were struggling. And it's so common nowadays. So here's what I want to tell you from my own discovery, from my own personal experience is it's both the physical and the emotional, the mind and the body. If you have anxiety, if you have mental health issues, if you're having a lot of stress in your job and your life or with your family and it's not dealt with, this can have um, counterintuitive effects on your experiences with having a baby because your body's not aligned with itself. And so here's one thing, if you are struggling and I've shared my experience with many people and I've put them on um, with some of the uh, content information as well as the people that have helped us and they've actually had help with this. If you are struggling with this, whether you're a man or female, please send us an email. I'd love to share with you what I've done. Um, and we now have three children. And after the first one, it was easy peasy. So sometimes just take some things that are outside of yourself or maybe even the traditional ways in order to rebalance yourself to get you to where you need to go. Um, and I believe we're gonna end on that note. And before we end, on the bottom right corner of the screen, you're gonna see a subscribe button. We would really appreciate it if you like this content. Um, to hit the subscribe button. It's going to let YouTube know that our content has value. And also uh, hit the like button if you don't mind. It really um, would mean a lot to us. And we're going to end on that. And the relationship series, what we really stand for is matters of the heart and mind. And if you are going to dream today, make sure you dream big.